I'm Luke Summerhays, and I love Poltergeist. Tea, a drink made by infusing hot water with leaves, originated in China millennia ago. Although people had previously eaten tea leaves, nibbling on them raw or cooking them in soups, the origin of tea as a beverage is attributed by legend to Shennong in central China in 2737 BC. From there, the habit of drinking tea spread throughout Asia to India, Japan, and eventually my home country of England. The English word tea, the Japanese cha, and the Indian chai are all different readings of the same original Chinese character. In Japan, the drinking of matcha, a powdered tea, became a very ceremonial affair, practiced by the aristocracy in Kyoto, and later by samurai lords, the group I find so fascinating, for their adoption of high culture as a mask over their barbarous deeds. When I first visited Japan, I took part in a tea ceremony in Kyoto, only to unexpectedly find myself interviewed for Japanese TV about the distinctions between tea culture in Japan and the UK. I did my best to sound smart, but I'd been in Japan less than a month, and probably sounded like a complete idiot. I'd love to find that footage one day if it ever ended up on TV. In Galar, we met Sinisty and Poltygeist, a pair of ghost-type Pokémon inspired by a teacup and teapot, respectively. In Kitakami, there is Poltergeist, a ghost and grass-type matcha pot with its own slender wooden spoon. Pokemon Violet tells us, Poltergeist looks like a regional form of Sinisty, but it was recently discovered that the two Pokemon are entirely unrelated. This line might be a little dig at the amount of so-called matcha which is sold around the world without meeting the classifications necessary for a tea to be sold as matcha in Japan. Matcha is grown in very specific shady conditions, and prepared and ground in very particular ways. Pokemon Scarlet tells us, Supposedly, the regrets of a tea ceremony master who died before perfecting his craft lingered in some matcha and became a Pokemon. A strict tea master was so obsessed with maintaining the protocols of the tea ceremony, he scared away all his guests, without whom his knowledge of the ceremony was pointless. After his death, this regret haunted his tea set and formed Poltergeist, who put people to sleep and mended cracks with matcha, in an imitation of the Japanese art of Kintsugi, wherein broken items are mended with gold, the damage of the past not being hidden, but instead celebrated as part of the object's history. This backstory was shown in a YouTube video released by the Pokemon Company around the time of the Teal Masks DLC's release. We see Poltergeist's spooky origins and also its powers at work. Pokemon Scarlet tells us, It sprinkles some of its powdery body onto food and drains the life force from those who so much as lick it. This second Pokemon Scarlet Pokedex entry comes from the artisan form. Like the Galarian teacups, Poltergeist can be found in both counterfeit and artisan forms, either actual historic heirloom teapots or modern recreations. Pokemon Violet says of artisan form, It has taken up residence in a very expensive tea caddy. It takes an expert to distinguish the expensive tea caddies from the cheap ones. As with Galarian equivalents, the only real difference in-game is a small seal of authenticity hidden on their base. And as before, to evolve a Poltergeist requires an unremarkable teacup to evolve counterfeit form, or a masterpiece teacup to evolve an artisan form Poltergeist into masterpiece form Sinister. Sinister is a bowl, as matcha is traditionally drank from, with the liquid green ghost emerging from the top, and wearing a bamboo whisk like a kind of hat or wig. The names Poltergeist and Sinister combine Poltergeist, a type of ghost, and Sinister, a spooky descriptor, with cha or matcha, the Japanese words for tea. Interestingly, these names are switched 
from Sinisty and Poltergeist. This is because in that Pokemon, the small tea cup evolves into the larger teapot, going from drinking vessel to source. Here, the smaller vessel contains only powder, a very small scoop of which is added to the much larger bowl when the time comes to have a drink. So in this case, the source is small and the one you drink from is big. Pokemon Violet tells us, It prefers cool, dark places, such as the back of a shelf or the space beneath a home's floorboards. It wanders in search of prey after sunset. And Scarlet says of Masterpiece Form, It lives inside a superb teacup that was crafted by a potter of great renown. Collectors positively adore this Pokemon. Cool, dark places are where matcha is grown, compared to in the sun for most other teas. Pokemon Scarlet says of unremarkable form, It pretends to be tea, trying to fool people into drinking it so it can drain their life force. Its ruse is generally unsuccessful. Despite this, Sinistra actually is successful competitively. While Poltegeist was a very attacking-focused monster, Sinistra is a more defensive one. It has the ability Hospitality, which allows it to heal its partner when it joins a battle, ideal for two-on-two -two matches, or it can have the Heatproof ability, which negates its weakness to fire type, and is well suited to singles gameplay. Along with these abilities, it has nice bulky stats and decent moves, including the unique move Matcha Gotcha, which damages opponents, heals Sinistra, and has a potential to burn. A potent mix. Pokemon Violet tells us, The more stirring it does with the tea whisk on its head, the more energy it builds up. It does this to prepare for battle. Appropriately enough, for a Brit who moved to Japan, I love a good cup of tea. My go-to remains a cup of English breakfast with a dash of milk but I do thoroughly enjoy any chance to go into a fancy traditional tea house and sip matcha with a fancy sweet, whether the attendant is strict or not. Music for Luke Loves Pokemon is composed by Jonathan Cromey. Artwork for the show is by Katie Groves. Writing, producing and editing is by me, Luke Summerhays. Funding is provided by my lovely listeners. If you'd like to join them to help keep the show online and find other podcasts by me and my pals, head over to patreon.com slash podcastiopodcastius. Coming up are Okie Doggy and Monkey Dory. So if you have thoughts about those or any other monsters, hit me up with a DM at LukeLovesPKMN or an email to LukeLovesPKMN at gmail.com. And of course, I'd love if you could leave a five-star rating and review on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you listen. Even if you don't feel like doing any of that, thank you so much just for listening. I love Poltergeist, and remember, I love you too.